and welcome to another Warcraft 3 audio commentary. Today we're watching a best of five between two excellent players. We are going to be on game number three right now, and I am joined by my lovely co-cast. His name is Kasim. And that was a, that was an excellent opener. Thank you. <laughs> I liked it. Mm -hmm. What's um, this? Fiend build. Fiend build. But, sorry, to... int oh. introduce the oh. players. Sorry, mm -hmm. sorry. How very dare you! <laughs> Let us go ahead and introduce our light blue undead. Actually, I did him the post past two games. I'm gonna do the elf this game. Oh, fine, fine. Spawning in at the uh, roughly eight o'clock position, we'll say it's the purple night elf. His name is Color Fool. Ooh. And spawning here at the approximately six o seven position, we have the light blue undead, Zhao Kai. Zhao Kai. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Again, fucking these strat. Oh, again, these oh. strategies. Wow. What are we doing here? <laughs> what are we? Wow. What Potty. are we doing? Potty mouth ballot player. Mm, casual. I have been a very dirty casual. Mm -mm 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 -mm. A very dirty casual. Look at the zig too. <laughs> oh, where's the zig? Oh, he's keeping that alive. He wants that to stay alive forever and ever. I suppose these spawn positions are pretty close, but I, this... He doesn't know that. Yeah. But I will say this, I like his base build. It kind of arches out to the left. It's He definitely likes that blight. I like the blight. I'm kind of curious why he's got such an open base. I think it's normally something that we... I think open bases are usually really good against elf, but normally there's more, like, blocking... Not this, like, not one big open area. It's more like, you know, like almost like a maze that they have to run through. So it's like, really bad uh, for like bears. A little triangle with the one Nerubian at the point of the triangle, if you know what I mean. That's, I can see what he's doing. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. But I'm just curious. As to, I get, oh, I know why. Because he's going fiends, duh. And fiends need a lot of area, a big open compact area to fit them all in so they can ball up and just, like, own something. Yeah, very true. Very true. That's what he's doing. That's what he's going for. And also, there's like that big open area, that big open area, that big open area, this big open area. He's got plenty, uh, four, five kind of areas right there that he can fight if he needs to retreat in micro, so that's good. Plenty of space. And that's also if the end was going Google, spaces. that's what the uh, Night Elf would want. But the Night Elf probably knows at this point the end isn't going Ghouls. I mean, it seems like a safe bet, doesn't it? Game yeah, it's, I, this is like a new thing. I haven't seen anyone do this for a long time. Maybe, you know, maybe Kai's just like. I rocket fiends. It's a pretty safe strategy, I would say. I rocket fiends so hard. I'm gonna you go on every, so game. Hard. every game. Every game. Every. Every game. <laughs> That's probably what he says to himself as he plays. Just like the level 30 beating up players. <laughs> yeah. Fiends are good. I rock. I rock. Skelly scouting the night elf, coming for that aggression again. I guess he realizes what Kai wants to go for, which is the heavy creeping, and wants to stop it because he gets his fast level too, because the ancient war. Mm -hmm. Gloves of face going for the death knight. I thought the demon hunter might grab that. That was pretty close to being stolen. Yes, it was, wasn't it? The archer, the archer's like, I don't want none of this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just getting out of here. And Colorful does know that he uh, that Kai did not go for Aura first because he has already thrown a coil. He can see his mana, so he does know to mana burn now if he wants to. If he wants to. If he wants to. If he wants to. Did he? Did he? Did he? Did he already mana burn? No, he didn't. He did not. Level no, two. He did. On the Death Knight, oh. he's gonna go for the surround. Oh! Oh! He's gonna get it. He oh. surrounded the Demon Hunter. Oh! Spaghettio. Skeleton Dead West. Dead oh. Nation. Wow. Um, he's got aura though, so he's actually still going to be forced to do something here because he does not have boots unless he can block with an block, archer. Block. Never mind. Very Apparently, nice. the demon hunter is faster than the death Knight with aura. I don't know. If, I never it thought like, it was. It looked like it could be. <laughs> I didn't think it was either, but it looked like it. Oh, oh. another necropolis going up outside of the undead base. What? He's just spread and creep at this point. Also, he's conserving wood for some reason. I don't know why he would do that, but he is doing that. Or maybe oh. because his open base, he's afraid of getting harassed, and this Ziggurat down here is going to turn into a Nerbian at some point, so he can kind of have additional blockage and slowage of the. I don't. What? I don't know. Tiny farm. Tiny farm. Do you like it? I really. I think that is my favorite new item right now. Yeah, I. Yeah, I just like seeing a farm in an undead's base. Really do. Well, I think I think that he could do. He could be a lot more creative with it because I mean, yeah. If he put it like right here or something, the elf isn't going to kill it. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know where you're where you're talking about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> or even at like the tavern, you know. Yeah, there's Not so many places. Can do that. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, there was one point where you know spreading necropolises all over the place as scout necropolises was kind of popular. Didn't work out well, and we quit they're, doing it. But they're not that expensive. They really aren't. They're I a mean, little, little over the cost of a fiend, which you know. You know, that's that's kind of a lot, but it is a lot. Know. But you know, if you want it, you can get <laughs> Do it. Do you want it? Get it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Got a sentry ward going and down in the elf base. What? Ooh. What? And you might have heard that. I don't know if you heard sure it. I'm sure he heard that because. Oh yeah, there's. Be insane there's if he one. didn't. He was chasing with his demon hunter, and he was yeah. in the elf base, so... Double lore going up, getting a couple more wisps. I assume he's going to go straight to tier 3 after he gets this last wisp. Maybe? Maybe. He almost has enough lumber. Close oh, to. Oh, so close. Yeah. Nope, the undead is wisps. about to hit tier 2. I'm curious to see what he's going to do. Maybe straight tier 3, or possibly I, fast lich. I would probably get a lich, yeah. Because it, it, when you're... This is such a close ex, close bases. Yeah. I don't know. It would, you kind of. I would even maybe go Naga, honestly, at this point. Just some kind it looks of. Looks like he's going tier three because he hasn't put anything down. It does. It does look. There oh, it is. There he is. I think Tri Hero is really good in this case, and I think this is very. I think this might be more in line with what the Undead was trying to do the first game, because he had he had more time to creep up and look. He's he's got it. He's hitting at a timing right now. He's going to cancel a lore. Yeah. He's going to have the fast tier three. He's not always oh, not going to cancel it. Wow, that was really close. <laughs> The wisps, the wisps are real. It's like it's like in the end of the elf campaign when they uh they mess with Archimonde, they just yeah. mass them, yeah. and they mess them. Up. Like they all just came out, and then they're like, wait a second, this isn't demons. Mm -hmm. And it did go down. So I'm guessing that was his plan was to cancel one of those lords and go I, for a little four fiend push. I think if if the elf hadn't harassed, he would have gotten there with level three quite a bit sooner, and he maybe could have canceled both. Yeah, definitely. Although one fiend is in trouble now. And Lich is on the way. And those archers, if he doesn't want to take a fight, which he's getting kind of low, he probably can't now. But if he did before, he could have killed all those archers with a couple nice novas. No! Lich, why would you give your mana away like that? That was the virgin mana. Oh. <laughs> it was! He hadn't used any yet. I'm guessing he placed that blight, right? Yeah, he did. Earlier. Okay, good. I was like, whoa. Yeah. Maps are a dead favor nowadays. Yeah, tell me about it. And just put blight everywhere. That'd be great if there was a map that all the all the terrain was blight. Yeah, we like to about spell this. all the blight <laughs> in your base. Just the, the early game for Night Elf is just making twenty wisps in the spell. <laughs> I think that's a reasonable balance patch. Yeah, definitely. The elf every has map. to spin like every map. Minutes, and there's just critters everywhere. Just, just critters so many critters. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> also, like a completely like a second gold mine right like here be to the left of your starting one. That's un. Oh, yeah mind from at the moment oh yeah i mean every race gets a benefit from that but at least you know well far enough that you can't mine from like a town hall or something but you know you can just summon oh yeah okay i see what you're saying like so like yeah. over here on the other side like with a, a wall of trees and stuff between you and it and then it's completely yeah. secluded but you have like a zeppelin for free at every start of the game yeah yeah that's why not giving everyone a zeppelin mm -hmm. we would be great balance net balance creators balance patchers balance people well to be honest undead would be screwed if you everyone got a free zeppelin <laughs> What? No, no, no. Because, because in the early game, you just get like a you you get like an early Nerbian, and then uh, you cry a bit. Yeah, a little bit. Just but a little bit. You have an expo and a lot of critters, so you'd be fine. <laughs> you, have a, you have an expo. You're not keeping that expo if someone if, if a Blade Master has a Zeppelin. Rejuvenation. So. If you check out this uh, this Merc mercenary nice. king for Bog Shaman, that's like one of my that favorites. It's one that's of the only ones I think worth skill. buying all the time. Yeah. Rejuvenation. Rejuvenation is so, just yeah, so, so good. Imbo. It's Imbo. It's Imbo. Let's be honest. Yeah. Look at that Lich. Didn't even need to coil it. Although there is a Robe of Magic plus 6 intelligence on the Lich sitting at 435 mana. Potion of Greater Mana on the Death Knight who's level 3. Probably going to see, I'm going to assume, a third hero soon. Is it going to be a Crypt Lord? Could be. Is it, it would make sense, but maybe. And we see over here on Colorful, he has a Pendant of Energy on his Panda that just hit level 3. Also a Greater Health Pot and a Invalm Pot on his Demon. So pretty nice items all around, both players. Wow. Elf is looking in a pretty strong position here, and he's going to go for some early aggression. Well, I say early aggression, but some, some Tier 3 aggression. Well, he still has Archers, so it's still kind of early. I mean, it is early, but it's late. No right? one's really lost, or he hasn't lost the unit at least. Except for wisps. He's lost, lost wisps. some stuff yet. 
Did he lose any archers? I don't know. <laughs> I so don't. I think he lost an archer. Okay. I think. I thought he had four, but maybe he rebuilt. Maybe he didn't. I don't know. I, I, I. I he did some something happened earlier. Maybe it was a fiend that died. Did a fiend die? I will say that the panda just did work on those four buildings. He did. I mean, that's one of the. That's that's definitely a design problem that the undead's he, having here. He still has three hundred mana too. He can just keep going in. <laughs> I mean, that is that is an issue. Also, <laughs> also, that is an issue. Yeah, <laughs> needed a better engineer. And it really did. Yeah. Wait, what? A better engineer. Oh, yes, you were saying yes, it did. It was, a, it was a joke. It was a joke. joke. It was a good joke, too, because I, yeah. but it took me a second to get it. Yeah, Sorry. those are the best jokes. Yeah, those are the best jokes. Except the bad ones. Yeah, true. True. All the good jokes. All the good jokes are aren't bad. All the bad jokes are bad. Yeah. I think we've established some kind of new knowledge here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this, this destroyer. Poor destroyer. It didn't need to take any of that damage, but I guess Not he did all. want to dispel the Rejuve, but the Demon was already pretty close to uh, full health points. Hey, listen. Go what you could do what you gotta do. Gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta, you gotta bow with the bow when you gotta bang <laughs> with copyright. the bang. Copyright. It's only, it's only copyright if I go the full on <laughs> lyrics, and I don't even remember what yeah. that is, so <laughs> I can claim ignorance. Okay. Is he sacrificing a Druid of the Claw? For what purpose is this madness? Is he gonna staff it out? That'd be kind of pro. He's gonna staff it out. Wow. Did he? Did he nuke it? Did he waste? He hasn't like, nuked it yet. Yeah, he could. He could. Maybe he doesn't have the mana though. I can see the purpose. If you want to bait Coil Nova, then staff, staff it. Well, if he had Coil Nova, it would have died. Yeah. So I think he did it because there was no mana. Also, there's no third hero. But here comes some ghouls to help fight this Q mark. This is definitely a good fight for the undead. Oh, oh, absolutely. I don't. I don't. He will save the haunted gold mine. I don't know if he's gonna save that Necropolis. It depends on where the elf decides to finish it off. And TP. He's not gonna do that. Um, that would be totally silly. But he's he losing did, all he his units. He lost everything. He lost everything. I mean, he literally lost everything except his heroes. And his panda is suspect here. Yeah. Nope, gonna TP out. Oh, there. There's bear, a bear. bear. Gear, oh. kill the bear! Oh. <laughs> 80, 80, 80 life? 80 life on the bear? Although both players at this point have an expansion that is basically done, you can see that uh, the Entangled Gold Mine will be up fairly short, short, shortly, and the Entangled Gold Mine halfway finished. So that's actually interesting. It's rare to see that, I think, where it, an Undead and an Elf get a base at the same time. Two games in a row, except, uh, you know, last game. The Undead <laughs> only had one. Yeah. Don't spoil. Yeah. Some people watch out of order because they're stupid. Oh, God. I love all and, these stupid people. You know, they both them. have expansions and they both have farms. They both have farms. That's true. Hello. They are both at uneven supplies right now. Uneven. Well, I I see forty six for the undead. No, the max max supplies. That's not uneven. Sixty six is even. Or not not um not to attend. Oh Jesus. Oh not, God. Oh, yeah, no. oh no. You mean divisible by ten? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Tenable. Be low. <laughs> tenable. Is that is that the word? Can we use that? Tenable. Word? They they tenable. aren't tenable. They are tenable. No, they aren't tenable. They aren't. Do you know what decimate means? To reduce by a tenth. Really? <laughs> yeah. Decimate? I learned that. I learned that watching Monk. That is awesome. A long time ago in college. That is awesome. Yeah, I had I had a heyday. I ordered a pizza, put the Monk on. Delicious. Learned about uh, learned about decimate. Little lion horn, horn, horn Worm? of the storm. Forlorn. Well, horn of the storm. Horn. Wind. Wind. Storm wind. <laughs> Stormwind is a town. Oh, but going on the shop, the shop is a pretty big deal in a push like this. Three it Destros. Is. Did All pick the up wisps. one more Merc. How much, how much mana or armor? Wood, wood, the lumber. The elf is going to hurt for lumber. Oh, and two bears. Probably going to go down right away. Oh, Even God. Staff again. Dryad's oh, trying to get that one Merc, but it's not going to change oh, much, geez. it looks like. Four Destro morphing. It's not looking good right Level now. Four for Lich? Colorful. Uh oh, colorful. Beware. Oh, TP. TP out. He's, he can't take it. He can't take it. He's out of mana. He can't do it. No mana. I guess, go. I guess that was pretty nice. He killed a lot. Killed he the killed shop. Got three bears, a dryad, and then he was, maybe he was, lost a fiend. He was about to start losing a lot of stuff, though, I think. Or he was going to have to pop that potion of greater mana. Didn't get mana burned in that position. And that would have been kind of inefficient. Although he only has one. What? He only has one acolyte at this expansion right now. Was probably a bit distracted with that fight. No, he's not but... got mo He doesn't have the money. He's not been. He's been prioritizing his army instead of economy. Basic noob rule 101. He's cheesing. Where's the yes. macro games? Starcraft. 
Is that terminology? Macro games? Jeez, I, did I use it right? I think you did it. If I talk quietly, they won't hear us. So did I use it? Did I do it right? I think you did it all right. Oh, thank you. I just I wasn't sure. This okay. demon hunter is having a whole I'll, lot of problems. Yeah. A whole watching. lot of problems. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, did does he? he okay, I don't know if he did. did. Ah, he did! Oh no! no. That was sick. <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> wow. That was awesome. I had to clap for that. That devour, dude. Like, that's not easy. That's I mean, not... you could predict it, but it's not easy. Uh, well, he, the, the demon hunter even got blocked by the DK, and there's no way, yeah. or, there's no way he could have known that. So yeah. that was partially luck, but wow. That was nice. Well, I think we know who won this game. <laughs> yeah. Because that panda just died. Oh, he got the uh, enemy oh, dead one. He's he has back. a dry maybe, maybe he's got this. Okay, well, I'm not going to say he maybe had. I don't know. I thought the game would have ended right there. My bad. It looks it looks <laughs> pretty good for the undead. It looks really there goes the demon. I don't know. I'm looking demon. pretty good for the elf, although it did just call it good game, so who knows. He gives yeah. up too easy, I think. But, you know, it could go either way still. It could go either way still. We're on the loading screen. could go either way on the score screen. You never <laughs> you never know who's going to really never want to call it too soon. You know? Don't. That's one of the critiques I got a lot when I would sometimes say it like 20 seconds before the end of the game. There was this one guy who was always like, you called the game too early. It's like, did I? <laughs> did 20, it, it really? Was over. It was over. Really? Do you advise? Or you just listen? I don't know. I don't do some people know. just listen maybe? They just listen. Yeah, they're not paying Or do attention. some people watch and know nothing about the game? I don't they're know. just like, I don't know, they're just like, they're looking at me like, hmm, I don't know who's going to win that fight. That elf still has his demon hunter, it's level 3, 